Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another helpful video for you. So if you're new here, I'm McKenna Brody. I hope you stick around and I hope you enjoy this video. But today, I wanted to give you guys a video on what to bring and what not to bring to college. I found these things very helpful. I feel like this video will help you so much. So if you're new here, like I said, my name is McKenna Brody. I attend Texas Tech University and last year was my freshman year or this year it just ended my freshman year of college and I lived in a dorm and I feel like I have a lot of tips on what to bring and what not to bring and I think this video will definitely help you. It might be a little long, might get a little boring, but if you just stay, stick around, I promise it will help you and get your notepads ready, get a little snack, get ready to write stuff down because this is the ultimate what to bring slash not to bring to college video. If you're interested, let's get started. Okay guys, so here we go, we're about to start. But before we start, I just wanna say this can be helpful whether you're living in a dorm or an apartment. Um, I think these things are really great to have in either. And if you do wanna see my dorm tour and how I use all of these things, I'll link it up here above. And yeah, I think that's really helpful to see too, just how my room was, where I put the stuff and all that good stuff. Anyways, here we go. Here is what to bring to college. So the first thing I have on my list is a Brita. Now, none of this is any is in any kind of order, so just wanted to throw that out there. But a Brita. The first semester, I didn't have a Brita. Me and my roommate would just buy packages of water and one week I would buy it or then whenever we ran out she would buy one and we would just go back and forth. But the second semester, I decided to bring a Brita and it was just so helpful. It allowed me to save more money and I just really enjoyed having it. All right, moving on, an extension cord. And this, an extension cord, I cannot talk, is super helpful because obviously you're gonna need to plug in a lot of things, so get yourself, I had two extension cords. I recommend two or three. You know, it's okay to have an extra one on hand. So you need a Brita, an extension cord. Some um, dorms offer a mini fridge and a microwave for you to just buy there and then return it at the end, but I brought a microwave and my roommate brought a mini fridge to our dorms. It's really helpful to have these. That's really essential. You're definitely going to need that. So get you a mini fridge or a microwave. I recommend one person getting one and the other person getting the other thing. But if not, if you just want to split the cost, do that. It's just kind of hard at the end to know who gets to keep it and who doesn't get to keep the stuff. Um, a trash can slash trash bags, of course. You need the trash bags for the trash can. So, I personally had a big trash can, like just a normal size one you would put in your kitchen. It, I found it to be really helpful. I was taking out the trash less, and I don't know, it really, like I said, it was a bigger trash can. It wasn't like a mini one. Like, it was a normal size one. And, um, I just think the mini ones overflow too fast, and you're constantly having to take out your trash. And I just think with the bigger trash cans, it's just easier, and it really wasn't in the way. Like I said, if you watch my room tour, you will see it all where it was. And I just found it to be very helpful. And saved a bunch of trash bags because we were taking out the trash list you're going to need a vacuum okay i had a mini like one of those little mini handheld brooms like the teeny tiny ones i had one of those never used it never touched it i won a vacuum at my project graduation my high school year this vacuum was so helpful because even though the dorms just have like I guess wood not wood flooring but kind of like concrete flooring I don't really know what it would what it is it's just not that cute anyways um your hair falls out right and it gets on the floor and you can't really see it but it's there so it's just important to have that vacuum to clean it up and make your room feel clean so I definitely recommend a vacuum 100% if you love coffee like I do Get yourself a Keurig or any other kind of coffee maker. I didn't have a coffee maker my first semester, so I was always spending coffee um, with my Raider card, which is just my like campus card with money on it, and I would always spend it at the cafeterias and stuff and buy coffee. And honestly, if you just love coffee as much as I do, I just recommend getting one because it saves you money, and we love saving money. So the second semester, I got a Keurig, and it was just really helpful to have. 
you're gonna need some cleaning supplies. So for cleaning supplies, I mean like you're gonna need Lysol wipes. It's so important to keep your dorm clean. You have to understand that so many people are living in your dorm. And I was on the eighth floor of my dorm and that air just filters all the way through and it's just important to have some Lysol wipes, some Clorox wipes, whatever kind of wipes you want. And I wipe down my room every Sunday. I vacuum every Sunday. I wash my clothes every Sunday. I was just very, very clean because I don't know, it just kind of grossed me out. So you're gonna need that. I had Windex to wipe down the mirror. I had also had like a, a Clorox bleach type spray if I ran out of my wipes. So just be prepared. You're also gonna need like detergent to wash your clothes and that kind of thing. So just essential cleaning supplies. I also even had like, what is it called? Hydro, hydro peroxide? Is that what it's called? Just in case I got stains in my clothes or if I needed it for any other reason, I had that, I had that on deck. If you're gonna be living in a dorm, you definitely need a shower caddy, especially if um, you're like doing community showers. So you're gonna need a shower caddy. You're gonna need some shower shoes. Personally, I just wore my Crocs in the shower because I forgot to buy sh shower shoes. Um, but need some shower shoes. You don't need a robe, but my roommate and my friend Vanessa had a robe and they always wore theirs. I didn't have a robe, but it's just something to add if you want to. Definitely recommend stocking up on body wash. I never had to go to the store to buy any kind of body wash, loofahs, razors. I never had to do any of that stuff. Um, I literally, whenever I moved in, I literally had like four bottles of shampoo and conditioner. I had like three body washes. Like I was sent to go. I had extra toothpaste. I would just recommend just getting extra stuff. Just, I mean, it's not that hard to go to the store and get it, but it's just, I'm that type of person that's like about to take a shower and be like, oh my God, I ran out of soap. Now I have to, I don't have any soap for tonight. Oh my God, I'm one of those people. So I just had a bunch of extras on deck and it was just really nice. Definitely get some loofahs to wash your body with. Get some extra ones. I had like, three or four extra ones and thankfully I did have extra ones because one time I took a shower and the loofah fell on the ground and I wasn't going to use that because it's a community shower and that's disgusting. So, and of course razors, towels, shower things, you're going to need that. With towels, I had eight towels. Yes, this is eight. I'm like, is this eight? I had eight towels. I only used like two of the towels and I just continue to wash them over and over. I really didn't use a lot. So you don't have to be excessive with that, but of course it's always good to have a few extras. Okay, moving on. You're going to need some organization buckets, bins, whatever you call it. You can just get like the super cheap ones from Target. You don't need anything special. I had organization bins, buckets, whatever you want to call them, um, like inside my drawers where my clothes were, were. So I would have like a tiny bucket that fit in there and I would put on like my night shirts and then another tiny bucket and it had my leggings. So I just had everything separated and organized really well. That's not necessary. But um, it was just easier to know where stuff was because I organized it into different buckets and things like that. Of course, you're going to need a laundry hamper because like I said, you're going to be doing your clothes. You're going to need Tide. I recommend Tide Pods. I had Tide Pods. So helpful. I had a laundry hamper that like I got it from Amazon and it was kind of like a backpack. I never used it like a backpack, but I don't know. I enjoyed having it. My roommate had one. One of those laundry baskets that has wheels and she would just wheel it to the um the laundry room i thought that was pretty cool so just any kind of laundry hamper honestly could literally be from dollar Gen dollar general so I, another thing is i had this square thing in my closet i'll insert it on the screen right here i don't know what it's called but this was so nice to have like i know i keep saying if you watch my dorm video you'll see how i had it but i had it in my closet and it had all my shoes in it i it had my like laundry detergent ra razors coupons loofahs soaps in it it had my snacks in it like i'm telling you if you just watch the video you'll see but it was just so helpful so if this if you think this thing will fit in your closet get it because it created so much more room for me and i just loved it so much so you're gonna need some plates some silverware it could be plastic silverware cups water bottles so with plates i just got like the cheap little ones you get from target they're like the little like pink cheap little things i'm sure you know what i'm talking about they're like i think a dollar or two um never used those in my life i started i just bought styrofoam ones because 
yes you can wash dishes but like you can you can also just buy styrofoam and throw away the plates plus i never really ate in my room so the styrofoam plates lasted me a long time but that's just totally a personal preference but if you do get plates i wouldn't worry about getting too many maybe just two or three silverware get some silverware plastic whatever you prefer i usually use plastic and honestly what i would do is whenever i started running out of my plastic silverware whatever you call it i would go down to the cafeteria it's not even called the cafeteria just where you eat on campus and i would just take theirs and stock up it's probably bad but it's okay i did it um cups don't bring too many cups I also had like the little cups from Target, never used them. The only cups I really used were water bottles. I, not water bottles, but like, like this. This is perfect. I got this from Walmart. It holds like four waters in it. I would totally use this on campus because I was always thirsty. Thirsty, you can refill it at like little refill stations or in the cafeteria. You know, water free, water is free everywhere. So I just recommend like water bottles like this that hold quite a bit of water so you don't run out during the day and especially if you like to go to the gym like me these are really good okay i forgot to add this but along with i told you guys that you're gonna need um some cleaning supplies along with that i had like things to wash my dishes like the sponge and like the dish soap so that's really helpful i forgot to add that but i'm sure that's kind of common sense maybe i don't know um, you're gonna need con command strips because most places you can't just drill holes in the wall or nails or anything so command strips are helpful you don't need a rug but if you want I didn't have a rug but if you want your room to be more homey and like that get a rug it's really nice not necessary but room decor of course you're gonna need room decor I had so much room decor okay something that I definitely recommend is you decorate your room how you want it please decorate your room it makes it feel so much more makes you feel so much more at home and it's just so nice to have your room decorated however i brought a lot of decor and i kind of regret it but i used all the decor that was in my room at home and i wish i didn't do that i wish i just would have got separate decor because when i came home my room just felt so like not my room you know what i mean so it doesn't really matter what you do but it's just, I feel like it's better to just get separate decor so when you come home, your room is still a room. And don't let your mom take over your room and make her, like, dream office in your room. Because things like COVID-19 can happen. And then you're back before your mom knows it. And she's having to move all her dream office out of your room. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're going to need a mattress cover for your bed because... Who knows who was sleeping in the bed? Who knows? Who knows? So get a mattress cover. You're gonna want a mattress topper, which is like are the foam things that make your bed a lot more comfortable because dorm beds are literally like nothing. So get a mattress topper to make it more cozy and comfy. Of course, you know, bed sheets, comforter, decorative pillows, whatever you prefer. You're going to need a fan definitely my room sometimes would be so hot and sometimes would be so cold so just get a fan just in case you can also get a heater personally I didn't have a heater but if you want a heater get a heater of course you're gonna need hangers to hang your clothes I definitely recommend um, getting extra hangers like if you have 20 shirts get 30 hangers you know just to have extra because you never know you might buy some stuff up there and need more hangers um you know you're gonna need your medicine you're gonna need like your advil your excedrin any kind of medicine that you typically take get your medicine we know uh, some of this stuff is common common sense but you're gonna need your laptop you're gonna want a desk lamp you don't need a desk lamp i never really use my desk lamp but if you want a desk lamp get a desk lamp a TV oh my gosh yes a TV I brought my TV from home I loved having my TV there I didn't always watch it um, but like watching the bachelor on it or things like that so fun loved it I recommend bringing a TV and honestly some people I think I only saw this once but some people had like too many TVs so that each person could watch it which you probably don't need to do but 
honestly that's kind of cool that they had two different tvs because sometimes i wanted to watch tv and i couldn't because my roommate was watching it a lot so that's something that you might want to think about but one tv is good enough a planner bring a planner planners are so helpful you're gonna want to have a planner in college i promise another thing is i had like an over the door hanger it wasn't a literal hanger it was like an over the door thing with like little hooks so i could hang my towels and stuff so that was really helpful so it created like more space where we could put things so we just hung it over the door and then we hung our towels on that so that's really nice you're gonna want a mirror you want a full length mirror you can get like those really cheap ones that's what i had i had a real cheap one from target and i just hung it on the wall with command strips and i never took pictures in it or anything i just had it to see my full body outfits and it was real helpful so definitely get a mirror it doesn't have to be expensive or anything crazy or extravagant just get something simple just so you can see your outfits in it okay so i personally did not have an umbrella or rain boots, but um, Tech or Lubbock floods easily and especially like throughout the campus at Tech. So I recommend an umbrella and rain boots. They're really helpful because you never know. And of course, you know, you're going to need like staplers, tape, colorful pens, markers, stickers. I love like making my notes pretty and colorful, my planner pretty and colorful, color coding my planner. It's so helpful. So if you're like me, and you love putting stickers all over your planner get you some get you all that stuff um but i did find having a stapler very helpful i used it quite often and lastly on my what to bring a scentsy if you're living in a dorm room you want it to smell good so just bring a scentsy my scentsy thing isn't even a scentsy it's just like a cheap one i got at walmart so i don't know what you call that um but yeah get you one of those real helpful okay so just keep staying stay there i'm almost done this is what not to bring to college so don't bring a ton of mugs or a ton of water bottles or anything like that a ton of cups just bring very minimal maybe two mugs maybe two or three um of your favorite water bottles and yeah that's really all you need don't bring an excessive amount I'm not kidding you i had so many yetis so many mugs so many water bottles it was ridiculous you don't need that much just bring your favorites folders you don't need any folders personally i didn't i took my first semester 19 hours and my second semester 18 hours and i never used a folder i had one folder in my backpack with my syllabus but i really didn't need that you know what i mean so you can get like maybe one or two just in case but i never used a folder or never needed a folder the only thing i used was my planner and then obviously a notebook and the books that we need for the classes but that's it don't bring a ton of makeup or skincare you don't need a ton of makeup or skincare like I said, I brought everything. I brought all my makeup. I brought all my skincare. Just bring, I, I recommend bringing the things that you would put in your, like, going on vacation bag. Um, I love makeup, so I wanted all my makeup. I play with makeup a lot. I have a lot of fun with makeup. So if you love makeup, bring a few extra palettes or a few extra something. But you don't need your whole collection. Trust me. You don't. You hardly ever wear makeup anyways. Um... You don't need a ton of clothes or shoes. I brought all my shoes, brought all my clothes. You don't need it. I probably dressed up a total of like 15 times, maybe, the whole entire year of being there. Something that I recommend is like maybe bringing your fall clothes and a few of your like summer clothes, the fall semester, and then when you go home for Thanksgiving or winter break, you can switch and bring like all your winter clothes. And then when you go home for, when you come back for winter break, you can bring all your spring clothes back or just something like that. Um, something where you're like switching your clothes out. That's something I did when I went home for spring break. I took all my booties home. I took all my like more um, cold weather clothes home. And then guess what? We ended up staying and not going back to school because of COVID. But either way, it would have been nice for me to have all that here so it wouldn't have been as cluttered over there and I wouldn't have had much to pack coming back whenever I moved out of my dorm. So that's something to think about. You don't need a ton of blankets. I had probably like seven blankets. 
It's nice to have like a few extra blankets just in case your friends come over and if they get cold or something, but don't have like seven blankets. Just bring a few blankets. You don't need a lot. Purses, I never use my purse. Honestly, this is the same thing with clothes. If you love your purse, bring like your spring or your summer purse and your fall purse. Just one of each. And then when you go home for Thanksgiving, you can switch them out and switch them up a bit. Um, but I had like 10 purses. You don't need 10 purses. <laughs> I'm like an excessive person, I know. Um, you know me. I do YouTube. I have fun with it. I'm not famous or anything, but it's my passion. So I brought my halo light. You don't need your halo light, okay? <laughs> Plants. I brought a plant my first semester and then I think I went back home for like three days and when I came back it was like almost dead but don't worry I saved it it's still alive it's in the kitchen it's flourishing and doing beautiful um plants are cute I feel like if you're gonna get a plant either get a fake plant or just get like a cactus something simple but I had like a full-on plant like I said if you watch my dorm tour you'll see it and then like I stated earlier, don't bring lots of decor. Obviously, it's a personal preference. I brought lots of decor. You can bring lots of decor. But moving out of my dorm, it was just so much stuff I had to put into bins and things like that. So that's just something to think about. Um, but yeah, that is all I have. I hope it was helpful. I hope I didn't bore you for too long. And yeah, I hope you guys, like I said, have had a great day so far whenever this uploads. I don't know, but I hope you have a great day. And for more college videos and like tips, subscribe. I'm gonna do some sorority tips and tricks and that kind of thing video. So if you enjoyed this video, please like. And if you wanna see more of my videos, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm like close, but not close enough. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. See you in my next video.